SpaceX will likely be recognized in future studies as the company that revolutionized rocket launching. Unlike traditional aerospace companies, SpaceX didn't follow established norms. They expanded the boundaries of what was considered achievable in space technology. Initially, the idea of launching a rocket and then safely landing it for reuse seemed unrealistic, yet SpaceX made it happen. Similarly, the concept of launching a massive rocket like the Starship was not thought possible until SpaceX accomplished it. Instead of slowing down after these significant achievements, SpaceX continued to push the limits. Their latest milestone might seem like something out of a science fiction movie. They managed to launch two rockets back-to-back -back within a single hour. This feat is especially impressive considering the typical space launch, which usually involves extensive preparations, with hundreds of engineers working for months or even years. The back-to-back -back launches were also a response to the recent FAA grounding of the Falcon 9 rockets. The FAA had temporarily halted Falcon 9 launches following a landing mishap on August 28, where a booster failed during a powered landing attempt and was destroyed after tipping over on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. This incident was the first unsuccessful landing since 2021, breaking a streak of 267 successful landings. The FAA required an investigation into the incident, but allowed launches to resume shortly after, provided that SpaceX met all licensing requirements. Despite this setback, the FAA allowed launches to resume after a swift safety review, confirming the incident posed no threat to public safety. The first of the recent back-to-back -back launches took off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying 21 Starlink satellites into orbit. This was closely followed by another launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, which also deployed 21 satellites, including several with direct-to-cell capabilities. A key highlight of these missions was the booster used in the California launch, which marked its ninth successful flight and landing. This particular booster, known as B-1058, has had an illustrious career, supporting a variety of missions, including multiple Starlink deployments and rideshare missions involving both commercial and classified payloads. On its 14th flight, B-1058 made history by becoming the first booster to be recovered 14 times, underscoring SpaceX's advancements in booster reusability. This is not their only achievement in 2024. SpaceX has been stepping up their game in many areas. By mid-year, SpaceX had conducted a total of 87 launches, which included 84 Falcon 9 missions, one Falcon Heavy mission, and two Starship test flights. This brought their launch frequency to an impressive average of one launch every 2.8 days, maintaining a success rate of 98.8%. SpaceX's Starship program also saw significant advancements, with multiple test flights aimed at refining and demonstrating capabilities crucial for future deep space missions. The fourth test flight of Starship marked a milestone by achieving the first soft splashdown, showcasing the potential for reusable space travel beyond Earth orbit. The company is gearing up for a robust schedule that aligns with Musk's long-term vision of launching 1,000 rockets per year. Meanwhile, Boeing's Starliner program seems to have found a solution after months of technical challenges. NASA recently decided that the Boeing Starliner spacecraft will return to Earth without a crew. This decision comes after significant issues, including thruster malfunctions and helium leaks, which raised concerns about the safety of a crewed return. Initially, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams were supposed to return on Starliner, but they will now return on SpaceX's Dragon Crew 9 mission in February 2025. The Starliner's uncrewed return is scheduled for September 6, 2024. The return mission will be closely monitored, with the spacecraft set to land at White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico after a six-hour descent. This mission marks Starliner's third landing at White Sands, following two previous uncrewed test flights. The data gathered from this return will be crucial for engineers to analyze and address the spacecraft's issues, which will determine whether Starliner can be certified for future crewed missions to the International Space Station. The International Space Station plays a vital role in this mission.
the International Space Station, has been continuously occupied since November 2000, serving as a hub for international space collaboration. The station operates with a rotating crew of astronauts from the United States, Russia, Canada, Japan, and Europe, who carry out research and maintain the station. Spacecraft like the Russian Soyuz and SpaceX's Crew Dragon have been used for crew rotations. The Starliner was expected to join this lineup, but its certification has been delayed due to ongoing technical challenges. Before the undocking process begins, Starliner will conduct two critical thruster reboots. These reboots are essentially tests to ensure that the spacecraft's thrusters, which are vital for maneuvering and adjusting the spacecraft's position, are functioning properly. The first reboot is scheduled for the morning of September 6th, and the second will take place approximately two hours before the actual undocking event. The purpose of these reboots is to address previous issues Starliner has experienced with its thrusters. During its mission, the spacecraft encountered malfunctions and a helium leak, which raised concerns about its ability to return safely to Earth. It's still unclear if Boeing has fully fixed the thruster issues that have caused problems for Starliner. These ongoing issues may have influenced NASA's decision to bring the spacecraft back without astronauts. With the many challenges Starliner faces, there are concerns about whether it can return safely. Although removing the astronauts reduces some risk, the spacecraft's return is not guaranteed to be trouble-free. Starliner has at least one malfunctioning thruster, which could cause problems during the flight. Thrusters are crucial for controlling the spacecraft's orientation and trajectory during flight. If a thruster is not working properly, Starliner might not be able to maintain its correct path. This could result in the spacecraft veering off course, which would be dangerous, especially during re-entry. In addition to the thruster problem, there's also a helium leak on the spacecraft. Helium is used to pressurize the fuel tanks, which is necessary for the engines to function correctly. If the helium leak isn't controlled, it could reduce the pressure in the fuel tanks, making it difficult for the engines to operate as needed. This could lead to a situation where Starliner doesn't have enough fuel or engine power to complete its journey, particularly during the critical re-entry phase. Re-entry itself is a complex and dangerous process. The spacecraft must enter the Earth's atmosphere at precisely the right angle and speed. If the angle is too steep or too shallow, it could cause the spacecraft to burn up or skip off the atmosphere, respectively. The malfunctioning thruster and helium leak could interfere with Starliner's ability to control its descent, increasing the risk of a catastrophic outcome. Even if Starliner successfully navigates these challenges, the landing could still be problematic. If the engines fail or run out of fuel during the final approach, the landing could be much harder and more dangerous than planned. There's also the risk of the spacecraft catching fire during re-entry if the heat shield or other systems fail under the stress. This could result in severe damage to the spacecraft and a failed mission. It's also important to note that Starliner will not be landing in the ocean. Instead, it will land on a cushion in the White Sands Desert in New Mexico, and this introduces additional challenges to an already complex mission. Unlike ocean splashdowns, which provide a softer landing, desert landings require precise control to ensure the spacecraft touches down safely on a cushioned surface. This process is heavily dependent on the parachute system, which has faced issues in the past. If you've stayed with us until now, I've got some exciting news for you. We have the most realistic Starship model available on eBay, and it's priced affordably. Whether you're a space enthusiast or just love collecting models, we invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.